Hey what's up guys welcome to Stackify and in this channel you will get everything you need for your JEE preparation. So if you are new to this channel hit the subscribe button stay connected with me. So let's go. In today's question we have a thin walled non magnetic spherical shell with wall thickness D and radius capital R where R is very much greater than D okay uh, is placed in a uniform magnetic field b not j cap so the magnetic field is directed towards y axis which slowly changes uh, at rate of alpha where alpha is the positive constant electrical resistivity of the material of the shell is rho fine so we need to choose the correct option or options from all these four ok so let us go to our solution so what do we have here we have a non magnetic thin spherical shell of a very small thickness d ok. Now the magnetic field is directed in the y axis in the along the positive y axis right. So of course as it is a non magnetic material it will there will be some change in flux if we divide this whole thing into multiple rings of coaxial rings of variable radii. So through each ring magnetic flux is changing because this magnetic field is increasing at a constant rate of alpha right. So let us consider one such ring at an angular uh, distance theta of angular thickness d theta. So the actual thickness of the ring will be r d theta. Now suppose there is an observer watching this from the bottom of the shell he will observe this ring in this manner he will the view of the ring from this observer will be something like this ok and he will observe that the magnetic field is going into uh, passing through its plane going into its plane right. So I have given a cross symbol here and as this magnetic field is increasing uh, there will be an induced electric current through this loop so that uh, it tries to oppose the increase in flux. So of course the current should be in the uh, in such a way that it will oppose this magnetic field so the current should be in anti clockwise direction resulting into a magnetic moment just in the opposite direction of this increasing magnetic field ok. So the direction of the magnetic moment due to this ring only will be opposite to this magnetic field ok. So the first option that is the induced magnetic moment should be in the negative j direction ok. So option b is correct without any doubt. Okay. Now we need to find out the magnetic induced magnetic moment of the shell ok not a big deal. So let us calculate the induced current sorry induced current that is flowing through the small loop through this small loop right this i ok. So i will be the induced emf divided by the resistance so 1 by r induced emf would be the rate of change of magnetic flux through that loop so magnetic flux is b times the cross sectional area cross sectional area of this loop that is pi r sin theta square right. So smaller is the resistance of that small portion of this whole loop ok. So we got db dt which is alpha which has been already provided in the question right and uh, now the here we have a problem how do we calculate the resistance of that portion not a big deal here. So I have taken that small ring infinitesimally small ring separately and uh, if we zoom in at this portion we will see that this cross section is pretty much a rectangular cross section of thickness d and uh, the length of that rectangle would be r d theta. So area of cross section will be d times r d theta. So the resistance of this circular portion would be rho times the circumference times the cross sectional area that is d times r d theta ok. Now just use this value of r and plug it here we will get this one ok. So this is the expression for the current flowing through that infinitesimally small circular loop. Okay. Now for that small circular loop there will be a magnetic moment produced that is i times the cross sectional area right. So uh, of course the cross sectional area I mean the area enclosed by this loop this area not this cross sectional area right ok. So just uh, use this value of current 
multiply it with the cross sectional area pi r sin theta square you will get this integration uh, I mean this differential equation. Now just integrate it from the limit of 0 to pi ok 0 to pi because for 0 to pi only you can fill up the whole non-magnetic shell ok. So just do the integration solving this one you will get 4 by 3 just put it here and, and the finally you will get this result 2 by 3 r to the power 4 d pi alpha by rho ok. So let us see which option is matching induced magnetic moment of the shell is this one. So option d is correct easy. So this question was pretty much uh, in the level of j e advanced ok. So as you have watched till the end of this video so you will get a cookie from my side and <laughs> thank you very much and I will see in the next one. Peace, take care.